Hey guys, and one of the things that sets designers apart from most others is creativity. Their ability to come up with different shapes and colors to ultimately create a recognizable symbol speaks highly of that. So today I'm going to show you a few tools to keep around that will help you take a step or two in the right direction artistically speaking. So with that said, welcome to a designer's essentials. First and foremost, you've got to get in that creative mindset, and a good way to go about this is through lighting. Enter the Albrillo Table Lamp. This is a touch-sensitive, dimmable, white and RGB color-changing lamp. Let's take a break from the vocab with a little demonstration of what it can do. A lamp is probably not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of creating art, but getting in that working mood is really underrated, so it's worth checking out. I'll leave a link down below. Also in front of me today is something that I briefly mentioned in the technology and design video recently. And you can check that out using the card in the top right or the link in the description, but this is a graphics tablet and if you don't already know, it's sort of like a notebook that interacts with your computer and it's used for all sorts of things like drawing, photo editing, document signing, and so on. I've been getting more and more into graphic design lately, especially having created the initial mock-up for the channel logo with this thing, so you can definitely say I enjoy having it around. No matter what you do though, if you're in the creative space, having one of these around is key, and this right here is a great option. More specifically, it's the UG M708, and with a dual button stylus, 8 replacement tips, 8 programmable buttons, and 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity, it's hard to argue against picking one of these up. Possibilities with something like this really are endless, so definitely a great addition to any creator's workspace and a tool I would absolutely call an essential. Once you've got the tablet hooked up to a computer, you'll need some software to use it with. I've always liked Photoshop for this just because I'm familiar with where everything is, but if you're on a bit of a budget, a good alternative is called Krita, and it's free online and it's got everything you need. Obviously, if you're going to be doing more than just drawing, then Photoshop is the way to go. But for simple sketches and paintings, it might be worth it to save a little and try this out instead. Alright guys, so we've looked at how to set up your workspace to get started nicely, as well as a few tools to help you out along the way. If you're a designer or creator of any kind, let me know if this video helped you out at all. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below, subscribe while you're at it, and thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.